technical difficulties. Right. That's all right. Do I have your permission to record you? Yes. All right. So I, I hit the report button. Otherwise, I would delete it. Um, but good. Um, so I, as you know, I had COVID. Um, mm -hmm. And I probably had it at the best time possible. Harvard was done. I had finished all of my work at Wharton. And one hour after the graduation, I was tested positive. Wow. Yeah. So then they put me up for an additional uh, number of days, um, food and everything. And my family was with me. We, I drove them there. And so we had one car and there was really no safe way to come back because I, I just turned active and I, and I felt it. Mm -hmm. I felt it the night before I said, I, I think something's wrong. Um, we better stop sharing every, like our, our plates or stuff, anything. Um, I, I could feel it. Yeah, I could definitely feel it. And what did it feel me. like? Um, I felt like I was coming down with something for sure. And it just was a very, um, odd feeling like, um, like nothing else I've ever felt before. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Wow, and, uh, and I can't be vaccinated either. Um, health wise. So, so I, um, I, I knew that um, genetically, maybe I might have passed it on to my kids. So, so none of us were vaccinated. Mm -hmm. And so, um, because vaccine would mean that I would need to boost. And if I boost, and I can't even take the first one, probably not going to do well with every boost. Um, so then, so then if I did partial and then also still got sick, my, I probably couldn't handle it. So we, my doctor and I, you know, we, we discussed this. I had different opinions, uh, from other experts and we decided, all right, we're going to, we're going to wing this. Um, but then hygiene wise, I would always have my gloves and my mask on. Imagine Harvard and Wharton, right? You have your mask and gloves. You never eat with anyone. And every day, I mean, from from a, two, uh, 18 months ago, this it, it, I figured out a way to avoid contact, right? And I was safe. And then on the very last day of October 21st, um, I took off my mask next to the the D, you know, the 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 program director, and and you know, we took pictures. But I already felt like something wasn't quite right. But mm -hmm. I wasn't testing positive, so I said, all right, well, you know, I guess maybe it's just um, maybe it's just an error or something, but. But it, but then, but then it came, came positive. And then after the hour of testing positive within like the next two hours, my fever shot up to one Oh two and a half. Wow. It's like, um, you know, great adventure, you know, one of those like yeah, vertical yeah. rides. Yeah. I went vertical and then for the next 24 hours, I felt like every bone in my body was being broken. Oh God. Yeah. And then my legs and my skin were on fire. I looked, I, I got myself to look at the mirror and my face was beet red. My eyes were red. It was like, and tomorrow's checkout. So after 21st, 22nd's checkout. So I contacted the program and let them know, um, you know, the, the next day because graduation went all night long. You know, it's like the, the, they had a huge party, which I didn't participate in. That was the part I missed, but um. But at least I got all the photos and everything. And then and then they extended the stay for us until Wednesday. Um, and um, and I my guess is I caught it from long, you know, while I was, you know, we also had a piece where we went out to Longwood Gardens. Um, one of our our previous peers from other um other years ago um is is pretty high up there. So so that trip was arranged and someone in the program also was positive. So basically must have contracted it to me um, then. Mm. Uh, but we drove back in one car on Wednesday. We even went out to Longwood Gardens um, just because there's enough distance. And I wanted to bring my family because, because prior to that, I went by myself. So I went with them um, and we came back. I spent eight hours in Longwood Gardens by Wednesday. And then we came back and I arrived home at midnight. I drove, they were in the back, but what we did was we sealed off in such close proximity, mm -hmm. the front and the passenger side away from the rest of the side, the rest of the uh, car. Right. And we used um, clear plastic bags to 
to to do the seal off with tape and everything mm -hmm. so that they could see it wouldn't be like oh you can't right. see me driving like oh, how do right. you know how do we know we i can drive and going to longwood is the wrong direction so coming back it was like a four and a half hour drive basically with traffic and everything so so um so we arrived around midnight um and um and then i collapsed <laughs> but i stayed on top of the, the the entire um top floor is me but i really just stayed in our bedroom and then for the and i would not test negative for covid for a total of 13 days from the 21st wow you got it bad. Yeah. yeah but i i you know all the practicing and this is the dovetail right into what we do um all that practice helped because i was singing while i was um i was sick and i had a cough i had the the pain i had the joint pains but i i was able to use the vibrato to kind of you know uh, cause the mucus and everything to move uh, right well the vibration of the sound it right. helps it does that mm -hmm. it saved me i mean it mm -hmm. was like it was like and then and then i think i grow i grew from this experience you know in the sense that wow. um yeah i grew i grew a lot from it because i i now know not only does it work right scientifically but i i personally experienced how important this was no oh, yeah wow. yeah it, it was like critical now just to give you some background at six years old i was hospitalized um for asthma and i had to stay in the hospital for almost a month right so mm -hmm. so that's how poor my lungs are mm -hmm. and um and when you have the oxygen meter i have one of these right here right and um and if i were to um turn it on um i don't know what my oxygen level is now but it went down to about 89 when i had covid and, and uh, below 93 you need to be hospitalized i did not have to go to the hospital wow right now it is 96 so you can see that it's 96 right. So it's not good, right? I'm not a hundred at all, right? Um, but uh, so I'm four percent below. Like my my max is ninety six. Now if I sing and I breathe, mm -hmm. I breathe. You know, I I can get it up a little higher. But I I just whenever you put this thing on me, I'm never I'm never a hundred. You know, uh, my mm -hmm. kids, my daughters are are a hundred. Like that, no matter how you test them, they're a hundred. My wife is ninety nine a hundred. So. So when I breathe, right. I'll show you, I can get it up by 1%. Sometimes it goes to um, yeah, 1%, so 97, right? So I oh. got 97. So I can get it to 97 from a 96, which is good. That's a whole percent, right? right. And I'm only 3% away from perfect, but it's I'm not perfect. I, I know I'm not perfect. And had I not had the singing, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have had the lyrics. And had we always relied on instruments, Mm -hmm. then I would have had to, you know, listen to something, but I, I, you know, I could actually acapella these, these things and, and uh, these songs and, and it was, it was transformational. Wow. Yeah. That, that's an amazing story. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Right. So, oh. so I got to see the sincerity behind Wharton um, uh, advanced management and they, 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 this, this is not, a transactional relationship it's a i mean it's a trend it's a relationship relationship really deep very sincere um and it was it was just amazing so i i, I brought up the song when you tell me that you love me right mm -hmm. and um have you heard of this song before you know you've stumped me on this i oh, haven't really? heard this and okay. i love diana ross mm. um a big fan of hers for mm. you know throughout her career Hmm. But I don't remember hearing this. This is right. definitely a B or C side, or I don't know. I mean, yeah, that's was, right. That's right. It, it was not like on the radio, uh, but it's a beautiful song. Right. Um, right. Gorgeous song. But uh, taking a listen to it, it was like, wow, I didn't know that. This okay, song. so that's good. I mean, I, I, I eventually, I was, I was, sometimes I want to be lazy and I said, oh, Diane, can you just send me songs that you think would be good for me? And I'll, I might do that occasionally, but I, I just like, that way I can choose from them, you know? Yes, I, I would definitely very, do that if you'd yeah. like. I don't have a big library of songs. So I, you know, I got, I go, go in there and I look for these things and then, um, but I stumbled on this and, um, and I said, you know, maybe the song finds me. Right. And, um, and so it found me and I said, this, these are beautiful lyrics. Right. Um, and I'll just start. I want to call the stars down from the sky. 
I want to live a day that never dies. I want to change the world only for you. All the impossible I want to do. I'm going to actually share my screen so that people who watch the video can see the lyrics. All right, here we are. Okay, so I want to hold you close under the rain. I want to kiss your smile and feel your pain. I know what's beautiful looking at you. In a world of lies, you are my truth. And baby, every time you touch me, I become your hero. I'll make you safe no matter where you are and bring you everything you hope for. Nothing is above me. I'm shining like a candle in the dark when you tell me that you love me. I want to make you see just what I was, show you the loneliness and what it does. You walked into my life to stop my tears. Everything's easy now, I have you here. And baby, every time you touch me, I become your hero. I'll make you safe no matter where you are and bring you everything you hope for. Nothing is above me. I'm shining like a candle in the dark when you tell me that you love me. Um, how was that? Wow, that was really nice. Really very nice. I think it was the COVID. <laughs> it, I mean, of, it's really, it's know. funny because there's more fullness in your voice. Yeah, COVID it, definitely. And, and it's ra more rounded and it just feels, you, it, it's really nice. Really, you know, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, nice I, rounded I, tone. What, uh, <laughs> I, I, it broke me. I mean, I, that's, I was so, we haven't seen each other for two months in session eight. So because of the Harvard and the Wharton, I right. So, so I wanted to know, um, is it my interpretation of how I like almost like survived some craziness? Um, was it the mountain climbing coaching that I had from Rodrigo Jordan, who, who told me about, you know, these next week, I'm actually speaking at Rensselaer Polytech about climbing the we mountain in life, uh, requiring a lot of uh, different tools as opposed to your me mountain, which, you know, if so if self-focused, you know, you mm -hmm. can, you, it's hard to climb a me mountain and, um, but a we mountain, uh, you can't just take those tools from one set and just overlay it because you got other people on your team, your family, your community, um, and you, you have to respect each other. Um, and it's, and it's, it's, and you're also from a CEO perspective, if you're running a company and you work there for five years, that's one, um, approach. But if you're, if you're standing for a family and it's your, your, your 600 years into your legacy, right. You're, you're, you might not sell that, that those items that, uh, grandpa has set, set the stage for, because it has nostalgic memories, right? So, so that's the type of stuff I went through at Wharton. Um, and, 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 and I guess getting also getting sick. I, it's all, I felt like, um, before I was, I was, I was, I was looking at more a lot of technique as, especially the vibrato and then these things, but now if it comes, it comes, if it's right, it's right. If it, you know, and, and we, last time session eight, we did that ballad, right. With the wind beneath my wings. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I couldn't yeah. quite understand the ballad. And, and then, this is very ballady, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so something happened, Diane. I don't know what it is, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, I could try to pinpoint one or the other, but something happened. And I, I need to hear from you. Um, uh, uh, you said the fullness. Um, how about the interpretation? Was it, was it different? 
Uh, the, the interpretation, well, I always find that your interpretation is really, is, is very, very good. Mm. Um, you know, we, okay. you know, sometimes we'll, um, we'll change up a rhythm or we'll have a different point of view, not a point of view, but, uh, you'll, you'll change it rhythmically or you'll talk mm. sing. So it's basically coaching interpretive, ter- interpretively, but I always mm. feel your heart cause your heart is really in it, which I always find yeah. is like um 90% of interpretation so mm. i really thought you had great and considering your um air capacity is a little lower than usual mm. or i uh, now i'm hearing that it's usually lower anyway right um i just thought you really took a, a it was really supporting those tones uh very mm. very well mm. i think um you know when you get sick mm. your body takes over you know it's like your brain it's like all done mm, right <laughs> and, and your body goes into healing your got, body goes into a, another mode mm. and i and i think sometimes um we when we over when we think in our brains it tends to st- to stump us up a lot and and um you know i've always i've had a yoga teacher that said that the body never lies and the body is mm. very healing so when you get a high fever and you get all this suddenly your brain capacity just kind of relaxes a little bit everything kind of settles and in singing singing is very physical it's Mm. it's a sensuous uh act it's a skill and i just Mm. think that when sometimes when you when we overthink and we want to try we want to this if we get that pat that aspect out of it trying and you know getting there and we just settle in and then we breathe in and we speak, it tends to, I feel like um, it, it tends to settle us down. And, mm. and then in that, I think, you know, we sing better, we communicate better, we're mm. more relaxed because mm. you can't be, if you're in, if you're in the illness mode, it, it, you have to be really grounded. Mm. It grounds you. Really, yeah, illness yeah. T- tends to ground you. It kind of puts everything in perspective of like, whoa, yeah. all this outer. Ch- 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 ch. I can't and, believe I would be saying this was. I, I'm glad I got COVID, right? I mean, it's like, <laughs> right? But it, 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 something happened, and it, it, it allowed me to apply some of the things I was working on, uh, in the research side, and said, well, does, does this really work? I mean, you know, you, it's almost like people who study um, medicine and, and, and science, um, we don't know 100% that this stuff works. I mean, you, when, you, when you're when you forced into, uh, that's why I use the mountain climbing, when you're forced on Mount Everest, you you, you will know um, what kind of leader you are. Right, you save, exactly. Right? You save mm-hmm. the person who went down, mm-hmm. um, but that might require you to go back two days, uh, put the whole team at risk, or you go forward and you will you you definitely lose that person. So so what what choice those are those are choices that are transformative, right? You you know and and then and then it defines you as a leader mm-hmm. um, when you have a crisis. You, you don't get defined without a crisis. So when I look at the lyrics in this song, it speaks to me, mm-hmm. right? It speaks to me. Uh, is there any um, <clears throat> tweaks you would do here? Yeah, I, I had taken a note of on mm. loneliness, mm. Um, that, that lyric, because what it, what it does is it goes down in the melody, mm. loneliness. And um, I was just going to say, um, yeah, there you go. Um, okay. Right here. Okay. Yeah, it has it a couple of times, loneliness, uh, when it kind of goes down. Is it just like, but you, I think that what you need to do is go, get, if, uh, breath wise you need to get under that note instead of being on top of it and pushing it down because okay. i thought that was just a it could have been a better tone quality because it was a little um okay i, I would have thought that so let me see i want to make you see just what i was show you my loneliness yeah loneliness da 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 you want to get that done okay. Show you my loneliness. There you go. Yeah. What it does. There you go. I see. And then when you do loneliness from what it does, from what it does, you get under it and you get that the breath is able to support those other notes. Okay. 
show you my loneliness and what it does yes exactly okay. all right okay mm -hmm. so just focusing on uh, noticing that sometimes i slip because i'm like just uh doing this but um but uh, the other thing is i picked up this song only yesterday i i've been so crazed with stuff that and i and i i usually need longer time to learn these things mm -hmm. and then i also cycled through the songs we've done in the past and i was able to do them like the melody and everything and so I, I because I want to check if I have any brain fog, right? Mm -hmm. And I was able to because I had these songs in my head. I said, "Oh, let me try this one. Let me try that one." So, so I was like playing around with them, and they they all were there. And that's why I, I had to let you know that doing this had a whole nother benefit to it, which is the brain work, connecting my emotional side, the right brain stuff, to the, my left brain, mm -hmm. and it was just really powerful. Um, yeah, I, 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 I have to say thank you because this, um, all, all these sessions have, uh, we're, we're very, very healing. Well, yeah. oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. I, thank you. Yeah. I, I also feel that, um, mm. in the COVID, you know, bringing that was very healing too, in a mm. kind of an emotional way. It, it, uh, when you just said the right brain and the left brain, it sounds mm. like COVID kind of, kind of merged those a little bit, got them to talk to one another, so to speak. Right. It, it did something um, to, to the communication. And that's why I had, um, you know, I, 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 I had sent you um, the, uh, and I'll, I'll share this because we were, um, you know, so that people know what we're talking about. Um, the, the WhatsApp where, where I sent you the pictures, right? So here yes, it is. Yes. Okay. I saw them. How beautiful. Right. right? <gasps> So Just Teresa drew, it. she drew these, right? She drew them. And then Danilo, the artist actually, um, you know, made them, right? So, so here he is. Um, and it's, um, you, you know, the, the original uh, plan was to just put pool tile on here, right? And, you know, maybe, a, 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 you know, a, a colorful pool tile, but you could see that it wouldn't look um, anything like that. Right. And then so then this is a shot from the house window. Um, it wouldn't it wouldn't look this. This is definitely like, a, 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 you know, it draws your eyes to this. Mm -hmm. We haven't put the top on or anything like that. Um, but we you know, the the um, that's the difference when you do something right. You know, if, if you if you do it, um, how 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 far do you want to take something? Right. And um, and with with music. Um, I, I, I approached you and I, we, my goal wasn't to take it far so that I could be a singer or performer, but to evaluate whether or not music is healing, mm. right? That was our, our initial the mission statement. Now, then if I'm going to evaluate if it's healing and I can't sing something or I don't know what it is, then as an evaluator, who am I really, right? What have I truly done? Um, and, and then, um, then you look at all the studies that are out there. Like for example, someone loves chocolate. They're passionate about chocolate. They enjoy chocolate. They eat chocolate while they're sick. And then they no longer eat chocolate. They just lost their passion. Had we known that they were passionate and then when they're sick and at that moment where they're vomiting and they're not feeling well, you should avoid the things that that you love and instead of putting your love at risk, right? So, so that that window, if we knew that window, we could avoid that. Someone who's not nice to you, we know that they're not going like, to like you. They're, 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 they're just going to give you a hard time. Are you ready for that on a Monday or you prefer that on a Friday? Right? If you knew that, what would that do? You could, you could sidestep and then avoid certain things. You don't need to take on everything and see how you do because, because then you become part of a statistic. Right. You know, we all know that if you drive out there, if you drive more often, you're going to be part of a statistical accident. If you drive less, you'll probably have less accidents. So, but if we knew your, your personality and, and you knew your personality, and then you knew which persons step on your tail and set you off and things like that, if you knew that, right. So sickness if we knew things like that, if we knew about uh, what we love, why put our love at risk? 
right? And and when I listened to Diana Ross's song, I looked at that. Is that is that you know? And, and we read the lyrics. Is is um how many people do want someone to call the stars down from the sky? Right? We'd love that. I want to call the stars down. I want a day that never dies. But don't we also sometimes want days that like, can it quickly get get over with this day? This is a terrible day, right? <laughs> right? right? It's um, a paradox. Yes, it's a paradox, <laughs> right? Everything is a paradox. Right? I want to change the world only for you. Do you know someone you want to change the world for them? Or, you know, I don't I don't know. They 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 They, they were good to me in the beginning, but, you know, they're terrible. Uh, that was just a terrible relation. It ended poorly. And there's songs for that too. Um, and it may be because we we spend our lives looking for perfect while giving up good. See, if we, because we, yes. we focus so much on, oh, I want perfect, Mr. Perfect, Mrs. Perfect. And then, and then, and then, but you, you, you could have had a great life with Mr. Good and Mrs. Good. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so that, that, that is, um, perfect means there's only one right so so or 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 very few and so so it, it, that maybe we've been chasing the wrong thing and who says you can't build someone who's good with you into someone who you grow perfectly together mm -hmm. right so i these lyrics also in measuring the brain waves and measuring how um i mean someone who touches you and then you become their hero um that that you don't just have someone you meet the first time and oh touch me i become your hero you, this has to be earned yes Agreed. right it has to be built and you go through things together and that's how you you become you become that way and and um and at wharton one of the things we had to practice was dying all right we we you know all, you know my coach and i stretched it further to that dying moment and if I die tomorrow, what are the things that are at risk, right? And one of the things we talked about was, and I'll use an example of this, is that if you have pets that you love, you love them so much that you allow them to come onto your bed. And now, you know, you, you, you have your will and you assign the guardian for your pets and your guardian actually doesn't like pets they don't really, they're neutral to them, but they'll never let them on their bed. But you want your guardian to carry out your intentions is you want your pets, they don't have to be on your guardian's bed, but they could, they need to be on a bed, right? So carrying out your intentions fully is really, really important. If you can't carry out your intentions fully, then, then you've kind of like, what was all this for? So for me, my risk is, I want my children, my, and I currently have my children homeschool, so that they learn the Chinese culture and the American culture, not just the English words, um, but also the culture. And, and this segues into that next song, right? Is a, in the sense that this is what happens to me when, um, when I, when I uh, and I know this will be hard for you and hard for me because it's, it's um, um, none of, we, we, both of us cannot read um the um the chinese right but mm -hmm. um but you did you hear the song i did i took okay. a listen to it and a pretty song I, I i would i when i heard it i thought oh you're going to be able to sing this very well oh okay so um so like that that, that, song that you would sing well okay so so yeah so that that's interesting right because you could tell right away as my as my singing coach that i could sing this mm -hmm. right um and 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 is it because the the notes because of the because of um um like what what makes it what makes you feel that I could sing this? Uh I I guess the Rain? the melody the melody, melody? yeah yeah the mm. melody it's a little more it's crooning. Mm. I just think that this would be a very easy uh song i think that we all feel that way i mean uh you like if you hear a song you say oh that's a that, that's like a taylor day taylor swift song if you heard mm. a song you know we mm. we identify mm. people with you know mm. with looks or or the way we speak um so, so before we start this one i'm going to ask you what about um the previous song when you tell me that you love me did you think that i would be able to sing that one Actually, to tell you the truth, I thought you would have a, a 
ah, you would it'd be more challenging than than it was. Okay, I see. But the, okay. I think the COVID really rounded you out. Okay. And it 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 helped. I my thought. wife said the same thing. She said, you changed. <laughs> yeah. My kid, my daughter said the same thing too. They said, I changed. Right. And so I leveraged that opportunity to share with them um, that if I were to, uh, and they were part of the Wharton program, they allow your spouse and your, your family to become part of it. Um, and so there's two and a half days where they were in the hotel room by themselves, my two daughters, six Ooh. and seven years old, right? And then my wife was down there in the thing and I, and I had to be at Longwood. So I wasn't anywhere close by. Um, and, um, but that brought me to that thinking on, on, um, you need to like between seven and 21, I need to have a, a really good will in place, but then in order to have the good, a, a will in place, you have to have the right guardians. So I start having conversations with people about kind of like that pet example, right? The, 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 the metaphor is that, is that if I am not here, will you carry out my intentions? Mm -hmm. And that's hard. Where are we going to find a school for my kids to also do some of this stuff, right? They can read this. I can't read that, right? Um, you can see my shared screen, right? With the song, yes. right? Okay. But I, I have to read this. And you know, the problem of reading this is I can't tell you what this means. Mm. You know, I, 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 I just don't know. Like, what does this mean? It says so mut yao yat se ha guat meng sum si. That's that's what originally, before the radio in Hong Kong and all that stuff. Um, that's how I would read this, right? But mm. actually, it reads like this: so mut yao yat se ha guat meng sum si. Right? So. Like, how am I supposed to see that from this? <laughs> right? You know, yeah. I can't even see that from there. I, I see so mu yao yat se ha kwat ming sam si. Mm -hmm. And that's already some, like, that's already a level above just reading it prior to knowing any Cantonese. But then, but then to go from that to so mu yao yat se ha kwat ming sam si, that is hard. And then imagine you're on a date, right? This is what happened to me. And this Chinese girl, you know, you do activities together. And then this is where they dump you, right? Because you know, we have to go uh, in different directions because you, you, you sing something like this and then it's over, right? Because music is very sensual, like you said just now, Extremely. right? That's so why people imagine like it. Yeah, exactly. And that's why you, you, you know, we'll go separate directions if you can't, if you can't do something like this. And I, and I grew up here in this country and I, and I had all those wonderful things that America has to offer, but, but you do this and now, now, now I'm the ugly duckling, right? I'm, I am now the, the, on the prom date where, you know, the ugly, the ugly one, you know, left behind, no one chooses this, this person, that's what happens. And, um, and so when someone does choose you, you feel like so lucky, like you feel like, you know, you're hot stuff or something, but then you have all these fears. So now you, you can understand why I, I incorporate the homeschool because one day my kids will be, my two daughters will be in my position and I don't want to have them go through what I just had to go through. Right. And so, um, and they might not be as lucky and they might have to earn their way, whatever that may be in 2035. Right. Um, yeah, but we can prepare for that now, or I could just leave it alone. So, so I'm going to go through this. Uh, the next line is so nang yu gai hao guo, so mu yao yat se, so mu yao yat se, gao han sam mo, ya dim dim mo sam cho. Um, this, 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 um, I, uh, you know, when I, 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 like I said, COVID did something to me because about a couple months ago, I had sang this and it, I, I couldn't feel it. It wouldn't be more like, yeah, I could, I could do it now, but it didn't, I couldn't feel it, feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. and, and singing is feeling. Yeah. Right. It's, it's feeling. Yes. It's not from the brain. It's from the yeah. from feeling. And that's, it's again, comes back to the sensuality because you have to feel to be sensuous. Yeah, but I have an American, a Western uh, singing coach 
Yeah. Calling me about sensuality. And we're both reading this, right? And this is like the funniest thing, right? You know, but but it worked. It worked. And and we also had COVID in the background now for me, like sitting on my shoulders, right? And it goes, Nice. Yeah. That my wife weird. my wife also helped me um like you know some of these words like I know she explained them to me, right? Um, yes. Yeah. So beautiful. You know what? About, I, I also feel yeah, um right. Is, what do you feel? Well, you're breathing, right? Yeah, I'm breathing. breathing. Your breathing is much better, and that's really has is helping your tone tonal quality. It's like you really settled in your breath, and maybe it was because your lungs were were like John. If I didn't were, breathe, improve my breathing. Oh so my they were labored during COVID. They were so so. There was a part of you that kind of really got how you really need to engage your breath because you were you were compromised. I've coughed on like the two interviews so far. One on the San Francisco radio, and the other one was yesterday on the Hong Kong one. And I'm going to cough here for you so you can see. Okay, where my lungs because are. Because you're coming from above. You're you're really holding. You're supporting those tones a lot better because you're yeah. feeling how to do it. It's not right. meant to, you're feeling it. Right. So here's the cough. You ready? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's how how deep the COVID cough is. I could do that again. That was, oh gosh. Right. That's, that's like almost, I mean, I hate to say it, it's almost like um, emphysema to vomit. <laughs> oh, right, right. Yeah. You know? and that, it is that so is bad. A singer's throat, though, but that, that is a singer's throat. It's always, it's really open because you've got to let the tone come up. <laughs> okay. Wow. So thank you, COVID, right? So, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And thank you, Diane, for all the, so, I don't think to everything, right? Silver I think I, because I was singing while I was like in bed with COVID, like there was Good nothing to you. do. 13 days of like no contact with anyone. What are you going to do? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. So That's... I have these lyrics and this song that would hum them. Right. And then, so here's the chorus part. Um, Nice. Yeah. Some so make sure you get yeah. a nice oh nice vowel. Some so. There you go. Nice. Yeah, you got to right. really form, especially at the end of a a phrase. Uh -huh. You tend to let let and let it up. Let the you know d in decrease the air, but you've got to still support it as if it's the beginning of the phrase. Okay. Okay. So song chong chong wang si. Yeah, that, that that somehow when they when they were doing this, it, it it cut off this as the last piece of the course. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's yeah. a tag. we call that a tag, I think. Yeah. So yeah. so so it's a tag. So you could, um, but I I didn't I didn't know it was called a tag. But the um, but yeah. So this is this is that song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. You yeah. just just I just want to uh, put this in in your your wheelhouse and yeah. and. Just remember, because it really did change at the end of the phrase that you kept that vowel and you supported it strongly instead mm. of just like, oh, it's the end, uh, you know, like I can be, I right. can run up on the energy. You've got to follow it through because that made a big difference. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Because okay. it made that, it made the whole phrase form. Otherwise you have, you start good in a phrase. And then when you get to the end of the phrase, you kind of just, ah, uh, and that you, you lessen the energy. The energy does not stay up to where it needs to be yeah and and you know you, you got to take people professional opinion very uh, you know very much to heart as you listen to this so it's almost like all the time you instantly know 
versus there are things that I know that I instantly know, but this is not something I know, right? This is like, this is where, where your, 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 your information that you give me is, is vital. It's really vital in, in the sense that I couldn't tell the difference um, when I, when I drop. Um, my eyes said, oh, there's not, but the listener, you know, some, someone who, especially the coach will be able to tell that. Um, right. And then at Wharton, they talked about different styles of coaching. And some coaching is like sports coaching. Some sports coaches are very, you know, um, they're very accommodating, very nurturing. Other ones are very emotionally charged, right? So they they, they bring you into, and you can think about that in different sports. Um, and then there's also the ones that, and, and those are, while they're different styles, attitude. Some coaches have an attitude where they just, you're never good enough for them. And even when you're really good, you're still not good enough for them. And that, at that point, it holds um, the the athlete back, right? Because because the athlete now has matured and gone to a certain level, and the coach doesn't change, right? So so it, it's it, you both have to know the personalities, um, and different ones work for different other personalities and complement them. But then also, the coach's attitude, and they had at Wharton. Um, Daniel Lyons, who coached me, and he was actually an Olympic gold uh, uh, medalist for rowing, Dan Lyons. And he, um, he showed us rowing and he showed us when all the strokes work together, how fast the, the boat would go, right? And he shared his story about how he had a coach that, that really yelled at them and, 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 and put them down and it worked, but it didn't allow them to go further. And then he meets this other coach mm -hmm. who becomes really encouraging. And, and Dan was sick and on and, 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 and his last competition, but he took home the gold for the United States um, in his team. And that, that, that whole mental attitude and, and the, it's almost the, the that, 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 that mysterious level. And, and I, I say this to you because you have been very accommodating for me. Right. And you work with me and, you know, you know, you, you could have slammed me on a bunch of things and you don't you don't do that. You know, you, you help me to to gain that, um, you know, to work with what I want. And um, and I'm also different from your other students. And that 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 speaks volumes about you. Oh, thank yeah. You. Yeah. Thank that, you. that was very, very, very good. So. So, yeah, this is this is what I've become after after COVID. I didn't want to do too many songs. Um, but I, I did want to see if we could pull up, and I'll do it right now, um, <clears throat> Wind Beneath My Wings. And, um, and this was a hard one for me um, last time because, um, um, because I, I, I didn't quite know, but I'll, I, I'll, I'll try it now with the COVID. I haven't practiced at all on this. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll just do this first phrase. It must have been cold there in my shadow. To never have sunlight on your face. You were content to let me shine. That's your way. You always walked a step behind. Um, and then I'll just jump down here. Did you ever know that you're my hero? And everything I would like to be. I can fly higher than an eagle. For you are the wind beneath my wing. Yeah, so my lung capacity is a little bit <laughs> not there, but um, but how 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 was this? That was, was good. It? This is a very difficult song. Okay. Because it's if if I mean the melody is beautiful. The melody is tough. Da da da. da. It's because it's very you got a lot of different open villa, uh, open mm. villa intervals. But um, yes, let's if you would just sing it one more time and think of singing the melody in a croon like fashion. Okay. But make oh. sure you just even though your your lung capacity is what it is, just make sure you breathe deep enough so you're underneath the note. Okay. It must have been cold there in my shadow. 
to never have sunlight on your face. You were content to let me shine. That's your way. You were, oh, you always walk the step behind. Oh, maybe I'll take this too then. Um, so I was the one with all the glory. While you were the one with all the strength. A beautiful face without a name for so long. A beautiful smile to hide the pain. Did you ever know that you're my hero? And everything I would like to be. I can fly higher than an eagle. For you are the wind beneath my wing that was good too i like them both to tell you the truth what did you feel was easier for you well um <laughs> certainly um crooning like you know more of a whispery um allows me to um it also takes capacity yes it does um, it takes a lot yeah and it might even be more or less um but but the the, the thing is that I feel more comfortable mm -hmm. when I do that. Um, and um, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm not because this is not a stage setting and I'm not, um, I, and I haven't done the belting with you. Right. right. So mm -hmm. um, maybe that's that, maybe that's the, the ambiance makes me feel like the second version is more, um, more me. More yeah, I, I felt it was a little more. I mean, uh, you're, you know, you're. I thought it was a little more personal. Yeah, that's right. That's the word for it. Personal. It a more personal. Yeah. Um, then, you know, you can go out and belt out a song, and we're, mm. and then we're hearing the beautiful bigness and the the tone quality. Mm. When you have a song where you're more crooning, it might be a little smaller, but it's a little more intimate, and it's it's more. It becomes a little more personal to the person who's singing it. And that's my interpretation when you mentioned crooning. Um, I thought, okay, then it's almost like more of that very personal, whispery, you know, smaller group. We're just singing tonight and 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 telling a story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Telling right. a story. I, you know, this this again. This is a not. This is uh, probably a, out of all the songs today, mm. one of the hardest. It's a very difficult song to sing. Well, that's why I picked like I, you know, yeah. the other thing we, we we it was reinforces failing is such a great thing. Yes, it yeah, is. Right. Right. So you don't want to pick like things that do don't do anything, right? Because then that's that's you know that that's it, that's not interesting. But this, um, and they don't call it failing at Warden, they call it stretch experiences, right? So yeah. so you're stretching yourself um to that level where uh, and then and then and then you you become self-critical on on what this is. So, but thank you because it because having that that critic the critiquing of of this um, because it was one was more of like a Broadway and then the yes, other one was exactly. the crooning, right? Yeah, right. And, and yeah. It's, you can do both and you understand both. I mean, right. in a if if you were in a Broadway show or you were doing a cabaret, right? Um, and people like oh the bigness, they like ah oh, big yeah. notes, bigness that. Right time when you were like all right i'm going to put my broadway voice on i'm going to approach this broadway life but then um if for a more personal hmm. it, you want to maybe approach it crooning but both right. of them need they're both they're both um you're, you're using your voice a little differently but both need that vowel uh the, hmm. the distinct vowels that we're singing and so the shadow in the end, you're saying, right, um, exactly. way, right? Yeah. Face, okay. Yeah. Right. Behind, you know, regardless of where they go, behind, like you're pushing it as a Broadway. So do or I breathe? I breathe here in front, you're saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me try that. You always walked a step behind. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Right. All right. Yeah. I see. Right, because okay. that the, the tendency is is when we've done it, what at the end of a phrase is just to kind of close down and just get relaxed. It's almost a lazy thing, but you can't. 
it's like that whole saying of it it ain't, it ain't over till the fat lady sings right. that's the same thing when you're singing a phrase <laughs> it's just you can't let up that energy the intent intention which was that a great word that you had mentioned before you right. can't it, it, it's okay. that's not but art is art is like that you know well like, yeah that's that's the thing is that um yeah that's why the fire pit it, it looked it looked fine to the people who did the other um uh, you know all the other designs until it got to that and then and then oh you want you you want that to be a statement well who makes who makes their fire pit a, a showstopper where you you go there and you you know becomes a conversation piece that that that's that's weird right but then again if you look at art that's what art is and um art is a is a is a and to, you know how do you know it's popular how do you know it li you like it does ford hire a bunch of phd's to design a car no it's determined by how many people actually like it at the end or buy the car right mm -hmm. so that that determines ultimately if it was good or not so so <clears throat> um a long time ago, and I'll give you this, is that uh, this was a case we did at, at Wharton. Um, Toyota dropped their name so that they could come up with Lexus. So you don't say the Toyota Lexus, even though it's the same company, you say Lexus. Well, every marketing professor would say that that is the right approach until Hyundai came up with the Genesis and they included the word Hyundai Genesis. And everyone says that's the wrong thing to do. Um, and in one way, they were right. It didn't do so great for the Genesis. But what the Genesis did was it brought up every other Hyundai brand into a higher value. And at the end, it brought up the entire brand of Hyundai. Mm -hmm. And until we had that data point, we actually didn't know. We said, oh, that wasn't the thing to do. Right. So, yeah, but that was the best thing they could have done. Mm -hmm. Right, because you have other cars in in your brand, and if you could bring it up, and although it doesn't pop Genesis only up there, and then everything else, but now it's a it's a whole team effect, right? So so there's a difference between the me versus the we, and 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 in 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 carrying some of these. I'll tell you, every time you mention carry it to the end, sometimes I can't because I didn't breathe in a certain spot. Right, you got to take yeah. a nice deep breath. Mm -hmm. And then other times I feel like, um, well, part of it actually is I feel, oh, maybe I'm breathing too much. And I try to um, just take it all in. Um, or I've used it all, like right here. It must have been cold there in my shadow. So I've used it all. And then, and then if I don't breathe right away, I won't have much to carry over here. Right. So you're saying I should definitely breathe here and it's OK. Yes, I think that, uh, yes, you you know, breathing is like you take in a breath of air and you exhale it. You have to take uh, another breath. It's it's just constant. And, you know, in you have mm -hmm. to sort of, um, you know, uh, sort of organize how where your breaths are. It's just not willy nilly. You know, we mm. we were it's it's like, um, you know, writing a paper you know you have a beginning you have an intro you you know there's a structure to it so right. in in songs too you know the greats it's all about phrasing and in that phrasing they have to take a breath and they use the breath in the phrasing so you okay know. so so let, let's use like something like you you mentioned the great so so what can you share with me um let's say just three ways of uh, of going like rephrasing this so so um I, you know, I could mention, I could focus on cold. It must have been cold there in my shadow, right? I could, I could do that, right? Um, what's another way is, I guess, I, it must have been cold there in my shadow, right? I could do that. Yeah. But could you do this? It must have been cold there in my shadow to never have sunlight on your face. Or is that... Or is that just trying to take on too much? Uh, I, I, well, it, it, it's you can do it. You mm. can do it, and there'd be a person that really feels th that that could pull that off. But I just mm. feel there's mm. one thought. It must have been cold there in my shadow. That's one thought. Mm. You never have sunlight on your face. That's another thought. And I always think we sing our thoughts, right? Mm. 
So that would be my interpretation. But there are some, if you have such a beautiful voice and your voice is just gorgeous, you might want to sing that beautiful line and, and connect those two. I mean, you mm. can do that. There's okay. no right or wrong. That's the thing. Yeah, exactly. Because in English, uh, like if this was grammar, right? In my shadow is a prepositional phrase. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's an extension of the subject verb um, object. So it have been cold, right? I mean, must is just an additional, but it, you know, have been, it, it, it was cold, right? It, it, it is cold. And so you add there, you add in my shadow and then, and then to never have sunlight uh, and then on your face, these are all prepositions. So, so you could, you, I guess you could think, right, um, uh, like that. But of course, you could also interpret this as I, I you know, when when you never have someone, you make this your subject and your focus, and then that becomes your line. So, yeah, I I've been noticing that some people, especially if I listen to Frank Sinatra or something like that, he tends to right, he tends to stretch out the phrase or do phrasing where you, you know, it makes it really interesting. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, he almost then, seems like a, a, a musician, a trumpeter, like a trumpet hmm. or a saxophone player. Right. They'll, they'll syncopate, you know, they, and he's thinking musical line hmm. as well as lyric. So you can't just think of just lyric. You have to think, unless you Broadway thinks more lyrically, Mm. Then we're going to do, you know, something more uh, jazz oriented or, you know, standards or something like that, where you're thinking a little more like you're singing more like a musician than you are just, quote, Broadway or performing singer. Yeah. And then that's your way is just like some people even get rid of this. Right. But, you know, that adding this on there, you were content to let me shine that's your way so so do you do you carry this out or uh way or do you just let it you know almost like a just speaking speak singing here well i love just what you just did just okay. that's your way it was perfect you were feeling it okay. i think that with this little phrase like that you want to you want to sing it as as long as you feel it so you're not just holding the note just to hold the note you're singing okay. Because you're feeling it and then once right. you're feeling it you let it go okay and then ending yes. this one you always walked a step behind like that right yes okay. behind or behind it's it's really up to you but mm. you have to have your intention behind it if yeah, you're just singing yeah. it without the intention people are going to feel that oh they're just holding that note out and, and it doesn't have an energy behind it because the intention brings the energy that people love to that will connect with people yeah now the intention was a piece that i it just like it, it came eventually um there was no um there was no methodology on i, I mean yes i tried to do the guided imagery and to do that, but it, it, you know, guided imagery doesn't necessarily mean it carries into your intention. Um, get, becoming intentional, and we had intention exercises, um, you know, at Warden. So maybe that that also um, did something. It was a it was like a a, a mixing pot of things. Um, now I also noticed that with Diana Ross, with her with her with her song, um, when you tell me that you love me, when she did it as she's older. Um, she kind of casually says this first line. I want to call the stars down from the sky. That's what she does now um, on, on a more recent versus when, when she was younger. I want to call the stars down from the sky. It's a, it's a very different, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and, and the audience accepts both her, her true fans and followers. Mm -hmm. She can do whatever she wants, right? And the first, <laughs> and and um, and well, and what do you she's think? She's connected when yeah when she sings, she's connected to her okay. her singing, so she can sing however she wants. Although, mm -hmm. with her older voice, I mean, she's in her I don't know, she's she's a little up there, but um, let's see, you, know, you don't have the capacity that you have when your your vocal cords get a little seventy eight. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So so yeah, I mean, but. I have noticed that people who sing, I mean, just, just 
if you if you tease apart, you can't compare apples to oranges or oranges to like cars or something. You you've got to take the same person for their face value relative to their set point. And I can tell you that if you do that, you notice that people who who sing um, actually um, have a better health mm -hmm. fundamentally versus their own selves that if they didn't right and. And it and it actually doesn't necessarily matter that they were coach type of singing or the performers. It matters a lot how they incorporate their singing in their lives. Ooh. So so if they're actually like they you know like almost like a Disney movie where you know Cinderella just sings and Snow White just sings, right? So so if, they, if you sing from your heart, from the bottom of your heart, and you just do that, um, <clears throat> and that was the the um, uh, Sarah Collins with the brain cancer. Um, she, she just, she never did official singing, right? And she's just, she just, she just sings and mm -hmm. she performs, um, and, and she gets really into it and her health has, you know, and I now pick up on this a lot now, especially after being sick like this and looking into it, I say, wow, that's really, this is a valuable, valuable tool that is completely undervalued right now. Right from a from a medical side. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, this is great. I would definitely say that. I mean, I I think that it's the fountain of youth. Yes. Well, you look you look amazing. So um, you know, I I have never met you in person yet, but I I want to one day. We need and, to uh, do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I right. Know. We don't I'm live gonna, that far. Yeah. I'm gonna stop my share here so I can end this, okay. and then we can chat you know privately. Mm -hmm. Um, but let me just stop this. So um, this is our session nine. Thank you, Diane. You're welcome. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. So here we are. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're, we're no longer re being recorded. Um, right. This was, you thought it was good? Yeah. I thought it was wonderful, actually. Really, yeah. really a lot of breakthroughs and uh, mm. a lot of great information. A lot of great information for people. Really, really. Yeah. Yeah. And the, and the show has only grown. Like I, I, I had people saw me during COVID, like I did do these interviews and they saw me transform. So it was like really authentic mm -hmm. in, in, the, uh -oh. in the sense. Yeah. Authenticity mm -hmm. is a right. key again for, yeah. for, I, I think authenticity is a key for the fountain of youth as well. Cause right. it's, just, it's just what it is. Yeah. Part of it is, you know, just, it's just really, it's really part of it all. Good right authenticity because i think people who hold themselves and they're not you know and they're afraid to be who they are or they think whatever it is it, be, it cre creates the stress attention well with the san francisco radio or the one in hong kong like they don't know that we don't script anything right so they don't know i'm going to cough or do anything and they they people always say like don't you want to like hide that i said no if i said i got covid and i'm not even willing to cough how do you even know i'm telling you the truth <laughs> so so, right, right. or how does it really sound? But if I do do that and you cough like that too, mm -hmm. um, then you suddenly really believe what I'm saying, right? And and I think that that's, that's the authenticity. And regardless of what it is, someone's going to pick up on that show one day or that interview and they're going to say, oh, I want to follow that person, right? And, and, and in, because of you, I've brought singing and music into Wharton. Um, they did not have that in there. And, um, and there's actually, um, you know, I can share it with you. Uh, just don't pass it out there. Uh, it is other CEOs of these, of, of, in my uh, cohort mm -hmm. that sang the night of the, that I got COVID positive and they were, there was a karaoke night. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and yeah, yeah I'll, I'll send that to you so you can see. Yeah. I oh, yeah, love yeah. That. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so. Getting everyone to become like take singing, regardless of of where your voice is, right? You know, just try it. Don't 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 run away from it, mm -hmm. um, and experience it, and then you'll know how hard it is on this other side. And that I think that that's really something um, that you did. Another thing is going to Longwood Gardens was a was a very. Have you been? Yes, I have. Oh, okay. Lots of, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So now, now because where you live, we, we know. I know. I know the property. You you're living in the property. Why do they do what they do? Like they take those hedges and they cut like all over town, right? They they just cut things so that you know it's buzz cut. And Longwood isn't far away. 
right? So I asked, they gave us a behind the scenes tour of Longwood. So it costs $60 million a year in, um, uh, uh, you know, in, in cash flows, but it doesn't, it, there's still negative 30 million a year. So it takes 90 million to do what they do. So they take 30 million from the endowment and they, they contribute it as long as the endowment grows, right? So, so you, 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 okay, so that's a number. It's just a number, right? But reality is we only live for so long. Mm-hmm. Buzz cutting a boxwood or, you know, letting that, letting the front of your house deteriorate is just, I can't like, I, now the more I do music with you and the more I do these other things, I'm starting to pick up on all that stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what? It's, yeah. it's beauty. It's, it's what right. people, you know, people are doing that, that they love, you know, beauty. They, they love, um, you know, plants they're, they're That's what their passion is. Right. So and it, because, you know, they explained very, very clearly why it's the way it is now. Mm-hmm. Um, how many children did you have? I have one, just one. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I have two. So neither of us, I replaced ourselves, my wife and I, but none of us added to the population growth. Right. So, mm-hmm. right. Yeah. So we didn't, we didn't, we didn't add to the population growth in order for now, because we're behind, people need to have like five or six now. And that's just not going to happen. Right. Mm-hmm. We, we're just not going to have, have that happen. It didn't happen in Japan. It's not even happening in China. Um, and, and even though they got rid of the one child policy, it's hard to have children, mm-hmm. especially yeah. if you want to be responsible to them and things like that. Right. Mm-hmm. So then we need immigration. Right. In order for someone to cut the grass and to do the snow, um, people who uh, came from slavery, that's the last thing they want to do. Right. They don't want to cut your, you know, cut your grass for you. Right. So, so basically um, we need immigration. So an immigration, if you're, if you don't even, if you're, if you're an immigrant, the last thing you're thinking about is the, um, the phrasing, the sound quality, right. right. What the bushes look like, what kind of bushes do we have here? I'm, I'm just here to cut your, cut your grass. Right. And I need to, um, and, and one of the uh, individuals who were older, who um, was sharing this with me is they, they, um, they mow, blow and go. Right. Right. Yeah. So they, right? they learn about the scaling, right. Mm-hmm. How to, how to save time, mow, blow and go, and then get rid of all the aesthetics. Art um, is a pain, right. Because you're nitpicking now. Right. And, um, and I can tell you, we, we have to put up uh, the privacy plants in the back. And because of all this music and other things, as I said, uh, let's hold our horses. I want to know what each plant looks like. And then I want to know whether or not we like them because ultimately we'll live there. And, uh, and what kind of insects does it harbor? Um, and is it, is it compatible with the other plant? The landscape designers who were, you know, um, they, they also made that fire pit that you saw. They made it as an oval. It wasn't, an, it wasn't a, a real circle. Danilo fixed it. He said that that's unacceptable. Yeah. So, and then when yeah. I told, I don't know why they would do that. Well, it was, it was ten inches off on on um on on each diameter. Mm. Some in some parts, maybe even twelve inches. And they they were saying, "What's wrong with that? You can't tell. You oh, can't yeah. tell, right?" So you see it what I mean is that dollars. it's crazy, right? Exactly. So we are we are we are fighting for our humanity. That's what we are. We, we are losing our humanity because we, if, we're, if we just look at solving problems to solve them, it's not, it's not just solving the problem, it's how you solve the problem, right? Because if you solve the problem, just, okay, there's, there's a Band-Aid here, that is not fundamentally doing it. No, it, it yeah. becomes, you know, it, that's integrity. I mean, yeah. I think that we, the right. world, the society that we live in, the lack of integrity has really grown very big. I mean, if you're, being hired to, to, you know, make a circle, you better make a, make a circle. What's. (laughs) Well, I didn't know I was hiring them to make a circle. Actually. I hired them to put in a fire pit. Right. Right. Which should be a circle. Which should. Okay. So I, because I don't know this stuff. Right. Right. I I said, all right, I'm paying. I'll write the check out there. I don't know. Just like, I didn't know any of the stuff you showed me for singing Mm -hmm. because I'm not supposed to know. Right. Right. So if I knew I, I would, I wouldn't. So that's what happened. Mm-hmm. And then I, you know, I had to hire Danilo and he said, well, and he educated me. It needs to be a circle. And then now I'm hearing from you. It needs to be a circle. How am I supposed to know that? 
So my daughter, my oldest daughter, seven years old, her teeth are crooked. Under most orthodontists, um, they will say, wait until they're in their teens and we'll extract one of the whatever teeth we need to. I found a, a, an orthodontist up in Clifton who, um, who trains them now. It's a totally different mindset and package. Um, and he and I, he and I had a talk about this and he said, and I asked him, if I want to find your a school of 500 people like you, where would I find that? And he said, it doesn't exist. In fact, when he started this many, many years ago, many decades ago, he was alone. Um, and he found that our teeth are crooked based on how our posture is and how we open and close our mouths, which is actually very close to singing. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and then there's nobody teaching this. Right. And then everyone looks at the, what he does as seven years old. That's too early. Oh, why save the teeth? We'll just pull it out. You know how hard it is to have teeth, right? You know, the adult teeth, we tend to lose them as we get older. So mm -hmm. you want to preserve them as long as you can. And, and then I'm in there as a dad with my wife, as a family, and the ones who do go there, the wives go alone and with their kid. Um, and, and I just find being part of that humanity, being part of that experience, if I didn't do a lot of the things I'm doing, and a big part of it was with the singing with you, um, I think I would have, um, I would have just said, you know what, just that's fine. Who will notice? All right. And, and I don't, I don't care. Right. If I let my line pass, right. You know, I, I draw, I let the line come closer and closer, then I no longer know where to draw my line. Mm -hmm. Right. But doing what I did with you um, and, and these other things really allowed a complementary, like they all fit together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They scanned Gwyneth's uh, mouth um, and, and they, and, and, and because I didn't teach her English, but she hears us like these things that we say, she knows she can understand. Right. Um, and, and I let her just interact. I didn't interfere. I didn't interpret for her. She needs to know how to interpret and then she'll have her options and choices. But then she saw by scanning at seven years old, all her adult teeth that hasn't come out yet. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. she got a, she got a picture for her, for her room. Right. Of wow, her. Yeah. Cause they'll yeah. see the, the ones way up top. Yeah. Right. And then she learns about what and her sister six years old sees that part of the humanity right mm -hmm. this this is really who you are as opposed to oh yeah we look like this on the skin surface there are no bones uh someone who uh, who looks a certain way we all look very similar without our skin oh right? yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah right yeah oh. right yeah so so yeah that's true yeah, that's right a great point yeah mm -hmm. yeah so so don't just go skin surface, go skin deep, go below the surface, go to the heart, the soul, because your differentiating factor is your soul, right. you know, is your personality that you, you know, you morph into, and then also how you take care of your body. Mm. That my audience, by the way, has supported me to create like the supplements. This um, is actually a, a vitamin C. Oh, um, wow. Very cherry berries. And what it is, is very cherry berries is a is a is a it's a, it's a piece of art actually it's um it's freeze dried organic berries wow. um from that are exotic so i'll give you an example it's goji berry uh it's maki berry um rose hip powder because that also contains vitamin c wheatgrass powder mm -hmm. freeze dried acerola cherry amla powder noni fruit powder um mulberry leaf powder kamu kamu freeze dried blackberry and freeze dried elderberry. Mm -hmm. And they're all organic, right? 100% organic. And what we did was, um, is during COVID, people would tell me that I should use this. And so I made like a thick goop as opposed to like a, dr a uh, drink mix. And I drank it in there and it really coated the throat. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Anything you think yeah. like that would do that. Wow. So that because of them, really yeah. Your immune system, well, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to get you a bag. You know, I just, you know, you know, it would be, it would be that way you'll, you'll get to try it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll stop by sometime or, or have you stop by sometime and, and visit. You know, if I have a friend, Joanne Chatterton that lives near, near you, if I'm going to, yeah. 
I'll if when I go there, which pr probably be pretty soon, I'll I'll uh, I'll text you. Yeah, let me know. I'm I'm up on um, Rensselaer on Tuesday, Tuesday of next week. But other than that, um, you know, let me know and uh, okay. we'll make we'll make it happen. Um, so as far as our next session, I'm thinking like um, December. Sure. December. Yeah. When 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 in December? Um, so December, uh, it would need to be probably like. Um, Tuesday the twentieth. Sure. Are you around? Yeah. What what okay. time? Um, how was uh ten o'clock today? Sure. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. Yeah, and you can all uh, you can text me. You know, uh, any other thoughts that come to mind? But I I thought that today you really um you confirmed what I was what my, you know what what my wife had said and that something had happened, my voice became fuller. Yes, it totally yeah. did. It totally yeah. did. You're, wow. you know, I don't know, you know, illness, uh, illness heals us. It's like, you know, things that, that when we go through dark, hard times, it grows us, you know? So I wow. think, uh, you know, I think in that, and that's great because, uh, you know, you're blessed because you, you have the mindset to see that. To, to to work through that so you will you will learn from something instead of being bitter about it or angry or whatever which will which i think will um result in the opposite of of healing you but here's the thing um which we'll never know but i if i had to guess if i didn't meet with you and i didn't take on the research it's a, such a small grant by the way um that most people would say why waste your time right yeah. um and um and I, if I didn't do that and I got COVID, um, I don't think my voice would have gotten fuller. It doesn't just make everyone's voice fuller. It was because I was like using singing to do that. And maybe right, at right, that point yeah. I stretched it or something. Yeah, but yeah. but you were using it, but you were thinking that to do it. Right. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. Oh, no, I was intentionally right. thinking to do it. Right. Um, you didn't just and, let the illness take you down. Right, right. Oh, yeah. That's In fact, that's that. all that's I would a do. Mindset. That's a good mindset. Right. Wow. I not see. People yeah. not like that, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. no. It yeah. was um Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Diane. This was great. Oh, well, welcome. I'm so I'm so I'm sad you got the covid, but I'm glad you got the covid and I'm uh, glad I got the covid. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. See you in December. Okay. See and you and hopefully see before. you in person. Yeah, over before. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. All right. All right. Be well. Be well. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.